and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a get to know me video. I figured I've been kind of filming for a little over a month now and I've basically just done like beauty videos, a little bit of hair and just like this random backpack one. I feel like it's time to just kind of tell you guys a little bit more about me so you know who you're watching and there's a lot more to me than just makeup. So I kind of did like a, just a Google search and picked out a bunch of different questions that I thought were most relevant to me and that would be easiest to answer and I just kind of like wrote them down in this little notebook. They're very out of order, they're not really um, categorized at all so they're very just random questions. Um, so if you don't like that I apologize. But yeah, so I'm just going to get right into this video. If you're interested in finding a little more about me then just keep watching and let's get right into it. Question number one is how tall are you? I am 5 foot even. I know I'm very very short. I get that a lot. Question number two, dogs or cats? Um, I definitely have to say dogs. I do have a cat, not in my household, but my family has a cat, and I like cats. I just like dogs better. I just think they're more interactive. You can do more with them. They're more loving. Cats, I don't know, some cats aren't really affectionate. Mine isn't anyway. I do think they're easier. They're more low maintenance than dogs are, but if I were to have to pick between the two, I would pick dogs. What year were you born and your age? I was born in 1999 and I am 19 years old. Question number four, have you been in or going to college? Yes, I am currently a sophomore at Castleton University. I started my college career at Siena College in Albany, New York, and I transferred for my sophomore year closer to home to Castleton. Question number five, what is your favorite drink? I have to say, I'm really, really into Propel flavored water right now. Um, me and my boyfriend buy the boxes of flavor mixes and just like make gallon jugs full of Propel water. It's like the only thing that I really drink. I'm a big water drinker and I do like a little bit of taste. So they're really good for if you don't want to drink a bunch of sugary drinks and stuff like that, but want to have a little bit of taste in your water. So yeah, that's like what I've been into a lot lately when I go out. I love the caramel apple spice drink from Starbucks. There's that one, and I also love the pink drink from Starbucks. I either get it as the pink drink or just the strawberry acai refresher without the milk in it. I don't really drink coffee from Starbucks. I've never actually had it. Um, I've heard that it's kind of gross, so I just stick to those two drinks when I go there. I don't have a Starbucks near me. The closest one is a half hour drive away, so it's definitely not something I can get to every day. So when I go there, I love my caramel apple spice drink. Question number six. If you are wearing perfume, what scent is it? Um, today I'm wearing the Velvet Romance perfume from Aeropostale. I don't really know how to describe the scent, honestly. See, I have, like, I'm so bad at describing stuff. Especially smells. It's definitely sweet. Not flower, not floral or anything like that. Um... That's really all I can give you. I love it. I've been using it for a while now. I love the scent of this. It's not too strong, but it's still there. It doesn't really wear off throughout the day that I've noticed. So it's not too much, but it's definitely enough to stay on for a long period of time. Question seven, tea or coffee? This is a hard question because I do drink them both. I'm not like addicted to either one of them. I'm not the type of person that has to have coffee in the morning before their tail is bushy and all that stuff. Um, I really don't think it has that much of a caffeine effect on me unless I drink it at night. Then I'm like still up at midnight wondering why I can't sleep. Oh yeah, I drank caffeine earlier. Um, I actually am drinking tea right now, waiting for it to pull off because I tried to drink some of it and I scorched my tongue. Nope, still not cooled off. Woo! I like coffee, but I'm not obsessed with coffee. So I guess if I had to choose between two, I would pick tea just because there's more, like, there's so much more of a variety in it. And there's, like, a bunch of different flavors that I like. And if coffee, like, fell off the face of the earth, I would be okay. Number eight. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I have a few, um, I just kind of like list them off. People that I watch the most and really like are Amanda Louise, Casey Holmes, 
the LeBrant fans. Ace Family, I like them, but they're not really my favorite. I don't really go straight to watching their videos, especially because they're like on a YouTube break right now. I do like them, but they're just not my favorite, I guess. Who else? There's, there's. Oh, and Kathleen Lights is another one that I really like to watch. Question number nine. How would you describe your fashion sense? Hmm. I'm definitely, like, not completely up to date on the latest fashion. I'm the type of girl that will just get her Converse or Sperry's jeans and, like, a nice plain t-shirt. That's honestly my favorite outfit to wear. In the wintertime, my favorite outfit is leggings or jeans with Uggs and a sweatshirt. I really try to get myself to dress up more though. Like today I wore a sweater and I have like these, these like black leather boots on. I definitely am obsessed with shoes and clothing. I will blow my life savings on shoes and clothing if you ask me to. Like, I definitely don't have a problem getting new stuff like that. I guess my problem is getting up early enough to get ready and put an outfit together. If I'm like don't really have a lot of ambition, I'll kind of just throw on like some something not too formal and just like loungewear, but I don't know. I'm definitely getting into more fashion. Like I've definitely noticed that I'm making myself like dress up more and I guess you could say I'm not someone that always jumps on like the latest trends. If I see a new fashion trend and I don't like it, I won't wear it. Like, I'm not the type of person that has to have this because everyone else has it. I like what I like to wear. So, if it's new and it's trendy and I like it, I will purchase it, but I'm not just gonna, like, keep up with the latest fashion trends just to keep up with everyone else, if you get what I'm saying. Number 10, what is your go-to hairstyle? My go-to hairstyle is straight, um, no heat, just wear it natural. My hair is straight as a board, does not hold a curl. I'm actually surprised. I did not have to touch it up today, which I was wowed by because usually I have to touch my hair up a at least a little bit every day. Probably could have done this curl, but whatever. I do like to wear it curly. Since I don't wash my hair every day, it's easier to maintain. I don't have to curl my whole head every single day. I just do a few touch-ups, so I kind of wear it. I do like it curly, but I wear it straight more often, and I'm usually the type of person that wears my hair down. I don't really do anything with it most days. Sometimes I'll put it in French braids, wear a ponytail, like a half-up ponytail, um, but usually I just wear it down, whether it's natural or curly. Question 11. What are your bad habits? I have a lot of bad habits. Um, I guess my worst habit would probably be not sticking to goals that I set for myself. I just find it really, really hard to stay motivated. Like, for instance, I really want to go to the gym and start working out. I know this sounds awful to me, but I don't really work out. I don't get a lot of physical exercise. The only working out that I really do is walking to my classes every day at school and dancing once a week. I do teach dance at one of my local dance studios. But other than that, I really don't get that much physical exercise. And I always say, like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, and I never stick to anything. Like, I feel like I get bored of things, like, after a week. I do something for a week, and if it's not something that I absolutely love doing, I'll just stop. And I feel like that's a really bad habit that I want to break, but it's really hard to. Another bad habit that I have is snacking. I try to eat healthy, I really do. Um, and there's a lot of healthy foods out there that I like, but there's also a lot that I hate. Like, I just can't get myself to eat. Um, and, yeah, I just, I really like to snack. I love my snacks. I love the way food tastes. I try not to let it get the best of me, but sometimes I do. <laughs> Question 12. Do you have any siblings slash step-siblings? Yes, I have three younger siblings two sisters and one brother and I don't have any step siblings 13 what job would you be terrible at I know this one like right off the top of my head I don't even have to think about it my job that I would be the most terrible at if I were to work at it is waitressing and it really really sucks because you can make such good money waitressing I, w I know I'd make probably a lot of money waitressing but I just at the same time I don't think I would because I know I would be awful at it I, my very first job was a dishwasher and if the cook was backed up or if we were really, really busy or anything like that, they would have me take plates out to people and it was just the most awkward thing in my life. Like, I feel like 
my first day on the job, I probably spill something on someone or I'm a very forgetful person. So I feel like they'd ask me to get them something. And if I didn't write it down, I would forget. Yeah, I just, I know I would be awful at it. Very awful. Question 14. What is the most annoying habit that other people have? I guess I would say, I, can't, I mean, I kind of sound hypocritical saying this because I'm on mine a lot, but never getting off of your phone. Like, I admit I am on my phone a lot, but I can put it down in situations where it's inappropriate to be on it. I just feel like, like one of the many problems with today's world is that people are so attached to their phones. It's it's not healthy like one thing that really really makes me mad is when I'm like driving to school and I see people walking to class like they can't even walk to class without taking their phone out or walking right in front of cars like on the road like yes I get it there's like a little crosswalk but what if I wasn't paying attention like you just you can't just walk out in front of me you should look first like everyone knows I don't know I thought that everyone's learned as a kid you look both ways before crossing the road apparently that rule like doesn't apply when you get in college i don't know but it's just a big pet peeve to me when someone walks right out in front of me doesn't even look if there's a car coming and they're looking down at their phone like you can't even walk from one building to another building without putting your phone down it's just there's a line and a lot of people i feel cross it Question 15, are you usually early or late to events? Honestly, for me, it depends. I am more late than I am early, but there's certain things that I'm not really ever late to, so. Question 16, how many slash what pets do you have? I have two dogs. I have three dogs in my household, but one of them is my roommate's dog, so two of them are mine. And you've met them, I'm pretty sure, before. I have a beagle named Tucker and a husky named Rocco and I'm surprised they're not like running towards my filming area right now because they heard their names but I think they're relaxing in my living room which is rare because usually they're playing with each other. Question 17. What is your favorite TV show? I guess I could say I do have an all-time favorite which is Pretty Little Liars but the two that I'm the two newer shows to me that I'm watching right now are Vampire Diaries which I love. Stephanie and Damon. There's this new show on the CW called All American, which is a really, really good show. If you haven't checked it out, you really should. It kind of reminds me of Friday Night Lights. It's just like a football show, but it's a lot more than that, and I really like it. And I'm not really that into sports. Question 18, are you married or single? I am in a relationship, but I am not married. And for those of you wondering, don't mind my nail. It broke off, and I'm probably going to fix, like, redo them right after this video, so I'm sorry. But, no, if you're wondering, I am not engaged. This is just a promise ring. I know I wear it on my left hand, but I like to, and, yeah, I just do it because I want to. But I am not engaged. Question 19. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? This question is so hard to answer because I feel like I'm both. It just honestly depends on the situation and who I'm with. I am the type of person that loves to be asked to do things, like I will never really turn down anything if someone asks me to do it with them, like I love to go out and have fun, I just feel like I don't enough, that's why when I do get the, when I do get asked, I usually jump on the opportunity. Um, when I'm like in public and I'm not really comfortable with people that I'm around, like I don't really know them all that well, I'm super super shy. I don't really speak unless I'm approached. And I feel like I'm just very awkward in public situations that I don't really know everybody. Like, talking to you guys, it's so easy because I'm looking at a camera lens. I don't have a thousand people looking at me. If I did, I'd probably freeze and, I don't know, not speak. Um, so, yeah, it honestly just depends on the situation that I'm in. When I'm with my friends, like, I'm really outgoing and I'm funny and talkative and fun and... But when I'm with people that I don't know, it's such a hard thing to deal with because I have RBF, like super bad. If you, for those of you who don't know what that is, excuse my language, but it is a resting bitch face is what it's called. If I'm not like interacting with someone, like if I'm just sitting there, I look so mad. I've had so many people that I'm friends with now, like 
say that before they were friends with me, they were, like, afraid to approach me. Like, they thought I was a mean person, that I didn't like them. I'm like, I'm not mean. I I don't even really know you. Like, I was, I didn't hate you in any way, but, like, I just, my face, my face just looks so miserable. And I don't mean for it to look like that. Like, that's just how I am. But, yeah, so, moving on. Question 20, what is your eye color? My eyes kind of change color, so I don't know. I tell, I say brown, like it says brown on my license, but they have like a lot of green in them and under certain lighting they look really green. So I guess brown and green depending on the day. Question 21, what is your favorite snack? Like I said before, I do love to snack. I guess my favorite snack would probably be potato chips with French onion dip, like the hell of a good kind with the red, the red container. That is so good. So good. That's like one of my bad habits because it's not really that healthy of a snack for you. It's honestly not healthy at all, but it tastes so good. Like it really sucks. All the food that is so bad for you tastes so good and the food that is good for you, some of it just tastes like absolute crap. I do like fruit though, I love to snack on fruit. If I have fruit in my fridge, any kind of fruit I love. Question 22, are you left or right handed? I am left handed. Question 23, favorite place to eat? As far as chain restaurants go, I'd say my two favorites are Applebee's and Texas Roadhouse. I absolutely love their chicken. I feel like their chicken is very similar. It's like cuts like butter, it tastes amazing, it's never dry. And I love the boneless barbecue wings from Applebee's and the three cheese chicken kapitapi is to die for. But yeah, as far as chains go, those two are my favorites. And actually in my town, we just had a local family owned restaurant open probably this past year called Champs. That restaurant is absolutely amazing. They have a bunch of different stuff. Their menu kind of changes and their specials are always different. It's a really nice atmosphere. And the food, they gave you a plate, like I kid you not, is this big. I ate my food there and I had enough leftovers to last me like the next three days and it was so, so, so good. That would be my favorite place to eat in my town when I don't want to travel a half hour to go to a chain restaurant. Question 24, we're almost done. What did you want to be growing up? When I was growing up, I always said that I wanted to be a professional dancer or dance teacher, but I guess I kind of did pursue my dream because I am a dance teacher currently and I absolutely love it. I've always wanted to do it. Last question, number 25. What career do you have or are pursuing? I am currently pursuing to be a math teacher. I know that sounds crazy, but I always was really good at math throughout high school and I kind of liked it. It wasn't my favorite, but it was sort of came easy to me and I didn't mind doing it. I want to be a teacher just because of how rewarding the experience is and honestly, because I'm ready for those summers off. Like. The work schedule of it is really nice, especially since I would like to have kids in the future and I want to be able to be involved in my kids' life a lot. I sort of have the same schedule as them, so being a teacher is sort of kind of perfect for me. Alright guys, that is all the questions I have for you. I hope that helped you get to know me a little bit better and I hope you enjoyed listening to me blabbing on about myself. Also check out my most recent video, it is my smoky eye tutorial that I filmed for you guys. There will be a link to it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.